India's first bullet train corridor, between Mumbai and Ahmedabad, could turn out to be the cheapest high-speed train service in the world. The Japanese team working on its feasibility study has worked out its fare box revenue model, according to which the bullet train fare will be just one and a half times more than the AC first class fares of other trains on the same route. According to this model, the Mumbai Ahmedabad bullet train fare works out to about Rs. 2,800. Calculated on the basis of the current AC first class train fare of Rs. 1895. Currently, trains on this route take about 8 hours for the 534 km journey. The bullet train is expected to take less than 2 hours. Japan's Tohoku Shinkansen charges about Rs. 8,713 km ride on the Tokyo Shinan Mori sector. A second class ticket on China's Jingyu High Speed Railway for the Beijing Shanghai route costs over rupees 5,000. In India, initial estimates a few years ago had pegged the fare for this corridor to be in the same range. Officials, however, said the latest study of the possible fare model gives a more realistic picture. The report is likely to be submitted to the Railways Ministry in July. The Japanese team carried out a survey of people traveling on the proposed corridor, asking them how much they would like to pay for a bullet train service with a speed of about 320 km per hour. Apart from the complex mathematics of the fare box revenue model, the feedback obtained from the people was also factored in while calculating the likely fare, said sources. As per the team's estimates, about 40,000 people are going to use the corridor every day by 2023, when the bullet train service is expected to begin. The AC first class fares for the sector in 2023 would serve as the reference for the bullet train fares. The study found that pricing the tickets any higher would make the flights a more attractive option, and any lower would not support the maximum revenue generation. By keeping the fares low, the bullet train would be able to steer clear of a fare war with airlines while also retaining the existing business of higher-class railway travel. The corridor is expected to have around 10 stations, and is supposed to cost Rs. 98,000 crore, after factoring in inflation and taxes. Work on the corridor is expected to be completed about 8 years after